Let's start by creating a new file, size 1920 by 1080 pixels. Drag your image to Photoshop. You can download this image from the link in the description below. Now choose the rectangle tool. Set the fill color to white. And no stroke color. Let's draw a rectangle like this. Follow these steps. Duplicate this layer like this. Let's change its color to any color. I will choose red. Press Ctrl T, hold Alt and drag these corners like this. Hold Shift and select both of these layers. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl T, right click and choose Distort. Hold Shift and Alt, and then drag these corners like this. Do the same thing here. Stop holding the Shift and Alt buttons and drag this corner down. Let's rename this layer to Frame. Duplicate this layer like this. Drag it down, and let's rename it to Shadow. Go to Layer Style and choose Color Overlay. Choose the black color, and then press OK. Right-click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Choose the frame layer. Press Ctrl T, right-click and choose Warp. Follow these steps. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button. When you finish, press Enter. Now choose the background layer. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Solid Color. Let's choose this light blue color and then press OK. Now choose the image layer and drag it on top of the layers. Duplicate it like this. Hide both of these image layers. Choose the frame layer. Choose the Magic Wand tool. Click here to select this red color. Unhide the image layer and then add a layer mask. Now choose this layer. Go to Select and choose Subject. Add a layer mask. Now choose the shadow layer. Press Ctrl T, right click and choose Warp. Follow these steps. You can get Photoshop from the link in the description below. When you finish, press Enter. Now go to Filter, Blur, choose Gaussian Blur. Follow these settings and then press OK. Reduce the opacity to around 75%. Here's the final result. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.